Hello and welcome back. In this one, we want to add some error handling to our inputs in our admin dash. So we're going to be using two things we need up here. The first one is going to be the Kiwi clock. All right. So, so from Kiwi dot clock, we want to import the clock. All right. And the next thing is a model view. So from Kiwi dot UIX dot model view. We want to import the model view. All right. And now we're going to create a new class here. And this class is actually going to be the pop up that tells the user the error they have. All right. So we're just going to create a class and we'll call this one notify. Notify, just like this. And this is going to inherit from our model view. And in here, I'll define in it of course and this is going to be self and our kw args and super dot init and this is going to take our kw args all right so now that we have that i'm going to create a static width for this so i'll say self dot size underscore hint is going to be none actually i'll just make it about 0 0.7 0 0.7 all right control s to save this and we're done with our notify here what we need to do is create a reference to this up here on our init function so down here we'll simply say self dot notify is equal to our notify class all right so now that we have a model, we can then add all of our widgets every time we have an error. And these errors can only occur on our add here. All right. So I'll simply say before we insert a user here, let's first check that the user actually entered a first name, last name, username, password, and designation. All right. So we'll simply say if first. And we already have the text for this, so if first is equal to nothing, or, and I'll just copy all of this, paste it a few times, and I'll say or last, or user, and what's the last one? Password. So, or password is equal to nothing then designation cannot be nothing because it's a spinner all right so we're done with that we are going to notify so we're going to say self to notify and we want to add a label to this so let's check if we already have a label and we don't so let's import a label so from kv.uix.label we want to import the label class. All right. Control us to save. Let's go back to our add user right here. We'll say self to notify. And we we'll simply say to add widget. And we want to add a label to this. All right. And the text of this label is going to be. And we're going to use some markup here, so make sure you understand what this is. And this is going to be bold, and we're going to say all fields, all fields required. All right, and I'm going to close my bold here, and I'll make this red in color. So I'll just close off my color right here, and I'll go back to right here. And I'll say the color is equal to red, so this would be FF and 00, zero just like that. And now I'll enable markup for this, all right? So I'll just say right here, I'll say markup is equal to true, all right? Control S to save, and now that we've added a widget to our notify, now we need to show our notify. So we'll say self to notify open all right 
control s to save and now we need a way to just close this automatically so we're going to create a kill switch for this so i'm going to create it i'll just create it down here all right so i'll say define and i'll say kill switch and this is going to take self and the time delta all right and this is simply going to say self dot notify all right dot dismiss all right and we're also going to clear the widgets of notify so self dot notify dot clear widgets all right control us to save and now we can call this kill switch using our clock so let's go here and after opening this we want to say self dot kill switch actually we want to call the clock instead all right so we'll say clock dot schedule and we want to schedule once and what do you want to schedule i want to schedule self dot kill switch and i want to schedule this in the next iteration control us to save and now let's try this with add user all right so we'll open here and we'll simply say python3 admin.py and run this all right so now add a user and simply click add and as you can see it comes and goes all right right there click again there we go and it's dismissed automatically all right so now that we know that our kill switch is working all we can do now is simply copy all of this all right we'll just copy our items right here and we'll add them to our add product as well and we'll do this before we insert a user all right but what we want to do is as you can see this got inserted all right so we want to put this in an else statement all right just like that and we want this to happen only if we don't have any errors all right control us to save and now i'll go to my add product right here and i'll just say if code is equal to nothing or and i'll just paste this in before i overwrite this and i'll go back here and copy this all right and paste it a few times and here i want to change this to name and change this to weight all right and the next thing we need stock of course so stock and sold can be empty order can be empty actually we want to get order all right so or order here all right we want to know when when the last time this product was ordered all right and that's it we don't need the rest so we just comment all of these out and if that's the case then we want to notify again and schedule our kill switch otherwise we want to insert that product all right so else and tap this in control s to save and we are done with this so this is where we're going to stop for this one any questions leave them in the comment section otherwise like and share this video if you did like it and definitely check out the udemy course all right it shows all of this stuff we're doing here and more all right otherwise guys i'll see you in the next